This is the AEW Collision August 17, 2024 Full Show Results video which takes place at Esports Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The show started with a match between Dr. Britt Baker DMD vs Harley Cameron, and the result of this match was Dr. Britt Baker defeated Harley Cameron by pinfall with a sling blade. After the match, Mercedes moaned music hits, as she and Camille come out and make their way down to the ring. Baker grabs a kendo stick, but Camille blocks it and grabs it from Baker. Camille breaks the kendo stick in half and Baker charges Camille, but takes her out with a huge pump kick and the drops Baker with a big right hand to the face. Camille picks up Baker over her shoulders and makes her way into the ring with Baker, as Moan looks on. Camille then drops Baker with a huge faceplant and Moan gets into the ring, as Camille and Baker stand tall in the ring. Then we saw a match between Undisputed Kingdom vs ROH World S9 Man Tag Team Champion Dustin Rhodes and Sammy Guevara for the ROH World Tag Team Championship and the result of this match was Dustin Rhodes and Sammy Guevara won the match by pinfall when Sammy Guevara comes down with a big splash on Bennett and Dustin covers Bennett, and they become the new ROH World Tag Team Champions. And Dustin Rhodes is a double champion now. Then Renee Paquette is backstage talking to Chris Jericho about his match on Dynamite against Tommy Billington and then Hook it all in. Chris tells Hook he is stupid to challenge the learning tree and Jericho says this is Hook's last chance to get the FTW from him. Jericho then says that Tommy Billington is entitled and says that Billington is a warm-up for all in. Jericho says he knew the original Dynamite Kid and Jericho talks about being trained in the dungeon and that he is a modern-day Stu Hart and will teach Billington about violence and will tear Billington about branch by branch and will be Dynamite done on Wednesday. Then we saw a match between Hologram vs Angelico, and the result of this match was Hologram defeated Angelico by pinfall. Then we saw a match between Danny Orion vs Jack Perry, and the result of this match Jack Perry defeated Danny Orion by pinfall with a big running knee. After the match, Perry goes under the ring and grabs what looks like a body bag and Perry spray paints the face of Danny Orion. Perry rolls Orion on the body bag and puts him in the bag and then puts the TNT title in the bag and zips it up. Darby Allen's name is written on the body bag and Perry then has a black bag and pulls out a new TNT title that is all black with red across it and silver lettering on it. Then we go to a vignette with the House of Black. The Bang Bang Gang talking about Christian Cage and the Patriarchy winning the World Trio's titles. Christopher Daniels is backstage, saying that Christian Cage will not have an easy road as a Trio's champion. There will be four teams wrestling for titles in a London Ladders match for the titles. Then we saw a match between Claudio Castagnoli vs Leo Rush, and the result of this match was Claudio Castagnoli defeated Leo Rush by pinfall with a huge elevated uppercut. We go backstage with Stokely Hathaway and Chris Statlander talking about their matchup at All In against Willow Nightingale and Tomohiro Ishii and if Hathaway and Statlander win, they get to pick the stipulation for a second matchup at All Out on September 7th. Eddie Kingston appears from his home talking about Brian Danielson and he says that this is not the same Brian that he is seeing and is going to get beat and he asks why Brian is doing this and this is not who he is and Eddie asks Brian if he is going to All In to lose. Then we saw a match between Mariah May vs London Dior, and the result of this match was Mariah May defeated London Dior by pinfall. We to the film by Tony Storm and after the film, May is mad as we get Tony Chance. May then picks up a high-heeled shoe and nails Dior in the head with it. In the main event of the show, we saw a match between FTR vs The Acclaimed and the winning team will challenge the Young Bucks at All in London for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. The result of this match was a time limit draw and post-match, Billy Gunn tried to play Peacemaker, but we ended up getting into a brawl and Tony Schiavone was informed that the Young Bucks would defend the tag titles at All In and all four men continued to brawl on the floor, as security comes down to break up the brawl and the show goes off the air. 